Technology is expanding at enormous speed. Electrics engineers are needed in aircraft design, medical equipment, you name it. Can you think of anything which doesn't need electronics? The key focus is that, first of all, you understand how those systems work. You learn how to design them and how to integrate them with each other. That's part of what the students need to do in that degree. We have a common first year. It means that all the topics are the same, regardless of which degree you do. And this commonality makes it easier for the students to change their degree or their major at the end of year one, if they wish to. Second year, the students work on more advanced topic, and in year three and four, they change very differently. All of the topics and all of the degrees have got a strong practical background with them. So the students really learn as the theory and practical together. At Flinders, we have small classes that we do this practical session and support and help is always available. We also have many industry guests coming and doing part-time or lecturing. So this is amazing. I haven't seen anything like this in other universities. With our students, because there's a 20 weeks placement, after eight weeks or 10 weeks, they are really given tasks, and some of them are very helpful to the company that they work with. We give the industry a student, and they give us a junior engineer. At Flinders, I believe that we delivered with the best interest of the students and also industry in mind, and we make sure that we link these two together. When you finish, you are job ready. That's it.